Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today, a Sunday, a glorious Sunday afternoon. You can see a bit of sun in the corner here. Um, I forgot to, to shut the blinds. I did a reading and the sun wasn't really on it but it's moving very quickly at the moment. Uh, I have the new chapter tarot on the tarot table. We're going to be looking now not at a new chapter so much, hopefully not a new chapter with that ridiculous book, but possibly a new season of a Netflix series. Uh, that would be, of course, Harry and Meghan, uh, season two or series two, whatever you want to call it. We hear that apparently Netflix sources are saying that they are very relieved that Harry is going to the coronation. And there is a lot of speculation now as a result of that statement that the only reason that Harry is showing up is because of Netflix. Netflix wants that money shot. Harry, of course, has been given his marching orders. People speculate and you go. Uh, and you show up and you get that money shot. It's not going to be Harry on the balcony. It's not going to be Harry in a carriage. It's not going to be anything like that. But possibly uh, the, the lure of the royal portrait with King Charles and William and Harry is good enough to get Harry on that private jet and over to the UK, over to London for all of 36 hours to attend the coronation, then jump back on that private jet. An environmental warrior that he is, Greta must be thrilled, and back to California for Archie's birthday. Wow, what a hero he is. So we're going to have a look at this now. According to the source, uh, Hollywood is concerned that Harry and Meghan have reached a turning point in their commercial status, that it's all downhill, basically, that without the royals, they have nothing to offer. Their celebrity status is starting to wane. That is the talk that's coming out of Hollywood, coming out of Netflix. That's what we're looking at now. It's very clear from the previous reading that I've just done that he's not showing up at the coronation out of love for his father and filial duty. Not at all. So we're going to just check this now. I'm going to do a Celtic cross with the new chapter tarot and find out what Harry is uh, up to with Netflix and this coronation. And uh, we're going to have a look and see just a regular Celtic cross cards and warmed up cards are ready to go. And let's remind you that it's just tarot. It's for fun. It's entertainment. We uh, deal with opinion and speculation here. We read archetypal energy because, of course, the royals are the archetypal family. And there is a disclaimer in the box below. So that's the usual story, as I always say. And here we go with the Celtic Cross. We're going to look at this from Harry's point of view, his relationship with Netflix, the impetus that seemingly uh, might be behind his decision at last to announce that he is going to be attending the coronation, but without Madame. Uh, very interesting cards come out in, rever in as the underlying energies. The death card, card number 13, death card is come out in reverse. It is a bit of a Meghan Markle looking death card, I just have to say. It's almost like she's clutching a bump there. Uh, shades of that appearance at the fashion um, awards or whatever they were in the UK when she pushed poor old um, uh, Rosamond Pike, I think it was, out the way and she appeared in that black number. I think she had black nails uh, clutching her bump. Um, to make a speech and do whatever Rosamond Pike was going to be doing. Um, strange that that should pop up here in this energy. We've got death in reverse. We have got a situation that is not transforming as it should. Uh, change that is not happening. That is death card in reverse. Of course, always when we see the death card, we are reminded of a Scorpio involved. That would be King Charles. Um, it's, it's, it's minor insignificant energy. This death card, this is a situation that needs to change. It hasn't changed. Harry and Netflix and the situation that they are in. They're flogging a dead horse basically with this whole thing. That is what is coming to me with this underlying energy. It's not a healthy, healthy energy at all. Toxic energy, my opinion. Let's see the situation with Harry and Netflix right now from his point of view. We've got the High Priestess. Um, High Priestess is, of course, secrets. It is, of course, uh, tapping into your intuition, the divine, getting kind of guidance, secret guidance um, from a higher source. 
it, it tells me that there was some uh, some sort of a secret instruction. How about that? Uh, a, a message that this needs to happen. Uh, the high priestess is, is, is a, it can be a card of ceremony and ritual um, if you're do, doing magic and that kind of thing. Um, it, it, it has that element about it and of course the coronation has a lot of ritual elements, some we aren't going to see apparently, the anointing of the king and all of those things. It is mystery and it is ritual. Netflix wants its cameras there. Netflix wants to be in on that mystery and that ritual. Absolutely. Because nobody else has those rituals and mysteries. Nobody. Um, and uh, that is what Harry has to offer. And uh, in, this, in this stuck energy, in this unchanging energy, there is also the king, of course, here. And it is, it's telling me that it, it's undermining that Scorpio with that energy, the, the, the intention. Not to literally undermine, well, could be, could be, let, let me take that back, could be, could well be to undermine the Scorpio King. Um, but it, it, it is wanting to be part of that ceremony. And uh, I am going to say rather underhanded way. Let's just leave it there uh, when I say that. Um, so what is the problem? What is the obstacle, the impediment at the moment, we've got the King of Swords. We have got um, experts. We have possibly got people gatekeepers. We have possibly got intelligence agents, um, people who might be um, sc scanning for wiretaps uh, like they did at Sandringham, apparently. Uh, we have got people who might have intelligence. This card is the card of mysteries and secrets, but here we've got somebody who is well able to penetrate those mysteries and secrets with the King of Swords. And so I think that he's being thwarted at some level. Uh, uh, Netflix wants this information, wants the inside uh, info, wants all the secrets, wants that stuff. This is my opinion coming from the energy that I'm reading right now. Uh, intuitively, we've got someone standing in his way who is an expert, who is an authority. It's not the King. But it could well be advisors, gatekeepers, intelligence officers, military people, spies, those kinds of people. Very interesting. It could also, a very minor energy, it could be also Prince William, just saying, um, who may have learnt well from his grandfather, who was a king of swords, the late Prince Philip, and how we miss him. Harry's motive for going, his hidden agenda. Why is he really going to this thing? We've got the Queen of Wands. <laughs> she told him to go. Um, allegedly, though, there is tension in the home because he's going without her. Uh, but it is something to do with her, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And of course, she is the, the one probably who is behind the Netflix deal with her team in California, her business manager, her agent, Oprah, all the rest of the contacts that she had. And she kept on her payroll, so to speak, metaphorically, uh, while she was a working royal for all of 72 days. Um, but the Queen of Wands has got something to do with this. It could be because of, or it could be in spite of, but I would say because of, you have to go, otherwise we're going to lose this deal and we need this deal. I think Harry's sitting pretty. He did his book. He's, he's earned his keep. But the Netflix deal for her is a big thing because without it, what does she have? Her podcast. Uh, we will look at that too in the great list of things we will still look at in the next few weeks, uh, hopefully. And um, his focus, his goal. And we've got the Ten of Wands. This is a burden for him. Uh, this is not happy. This is um, this is difficulty. This this really is is something that he feels very alone with, something he'd rather not do, um, but he's got to do it. He can't he can't put that burden down. He would like to put that burden down, the Netflix burden. I think that he's always um, kind of resented it. 
and tried not to um, be party to it too much, even though they did stage some scenes and it was all, ooh, and look, it's and William sent me a text and all of that. So he did her bidding, the Queen of Wands did her bidding, but he's over it. So I'm not getting, oh, we need the money and we need the publicity and we need the... Um, uh, we need the, the highest viewing figures and all that stuff, all that rot. We've already had that. This is, I don't want to do it, but I've got to. I'm being forced. Um, so previous energy with Netflix and Harry. How's it been going? Queen of Cups, not a happy card. Um, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, not feeling it, not loving it. Uh, might feel some a sense of betrayal that at some level I think in, in, in his heart of hearts he knows that he is betraying his mother's memory and then we know that that's a trigger for him uh, because she of course was hounded by the media and there he is a media stooge um, Netflix you must go to the coronation okay we need that footage all right um, you've got to go and bow to Queen Camilla don't want to ten of wands but Netflix making me it's a very unhappy energy. It's um, upset energy, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Even though it's Queen energy, it can well be a male, male uh, person who experiences it. Uh, but in the sense, possibly, as I say, of letting down a woman that he loved. Uh, but it is also a falling out of love card, taking your emotions away from a situation. So I think he, he's fallen right out of love with this Netflix deal. I'm getting this energy consistently in these cards here. And stuck, what did I say right at the very beginning? Stuck in a situation that needs to end, but it can't end because Netflix wants in. They want uh, in that canopy when the anointing happens. I am speculating. And so, of course, what's going to happen on the great day? What's going to happen with has been a Netflix coming out, the Four of Cups. Uh, it doesn't really tell you much, that Four of Cups. It's an ignoring energy, I suppose you could say it's depicting. The Four of Cups is that not getting, not being happy with what you're offered. And I would say Netflix not being happy with what they are offered is not enough. It's not tempting, it's not interesting, it's not exciting. It's, I'll, I'll, I'll push that card away, uh, it's not good enough. We need better, we need more. Uh, that's what the Four of Cups is telling me uh, from Netflix's point of view, not from Harry's point of view. Although I think Harry would also like to push that cup away and say, I'm not interested, I don't want to be doing this anymore. Queen of Wands in reverse, uh, Queen of Cups in reverse, sorry. Um, so I think a mutual uh, apathy, it's not good enough, it's not exciting, it's not emotive enough, uh, we, haven't, we just haven't got enough to justify season two. Um, so his, uh, Harry's attitude to the coronation, we're still trying to get to the bottom of this, that he's showing up only because of Netflix, why is he going? The universe in reverse, it's the world. Um, upright it would have been a wonderful card it would have been so excited to see this um, cycle maturing coming to an end um, father now in the public eye for the whole world to see uh, crowned and triumphant but it's in reverse he doesn't want this he doesn't want this to happen he would rather that this didn't happen that somehow it could be thwarted stopped ended uh, not successful, people don't watch, people aren't interested, nobody comes out, nobody lines the streets. Um, he doesn't want this to happen, universe in reverse. He really doesn't want it to be a success and he doesn't want it to be a public success. Charming energy, it really is, but that's what we do here, we read energy. Um, what pressure is Harry under from Netflix? And we got the Princess of Swords. And that is that is quite a brutal energy. It's it's not friendly. The Princess of Swords, the Page of Swords. It's um, I would say there have been some quite harsh communications, um, some quite strident, you must, um, and you can't say no. Uh, we need this. Uh, some quite forceful, some quite cutting communications. It's it's a card of 
it's really it's about research and studying and uh, going online and looking at stuff and learning about things a little bit of spying involved as well but it's acquiring information that you so you can arm yourself with it that is what the princess of swords does so there has been uh, some degree of i would say exchange of letters possibly even lawyers letters this is we're holding you to this you did this you agreed to do it now you have to go and do it um, or else we're preparing ourselves we're preparing those letters we uh, there's threats in here I don't often get that energy. It's, it's, it's always a card with a somewhat tricky energy for me as a reader. And I'm getting threats in here. Actual threats, possibly threats of litigation. That is, again, just my speculation, my interpretation of the energy. Harry's hopes and fears and with regard to Netflix and the coronation. His hopes and fears. We've got another queen. And a queen of sorts in reverse. Um, he is very afraid of being a failing a woman a failing a female energy it could be a director and there was a woman director on the previous one there's garbus i don't know what sign she is if she's an air sign or is that queen of swords but he's anxious he's worried about failing a, a female energy a director um uh, swords can mean directors here i'm i'm thinking it's more intelligence people gatekeeper type people here because we're talking about his relationship with netflix i'm speculating that it is a director a producer somebody like that who wants him to come back with certain material um have, have stage managed it insinuated himself into positions where he's included in stuff that will uh, be interesting for them to show on Netflix but he's worried that he's going to fail and that this woman is going to be extremely angry with him it could even be our queen of wands down there uh, just by the way three queens now in negative energy the pressure on Harry is all coming from women um, possibly different women different uh, relationships different dynamics mummy here i would say wife here and i would say director over there that he finds himself in this very difficult situation he's got to do something he does not want to do ten of wands he thinks that he's stuck with his death energy um, he's got to go he's not really going to succeed short term with whatever he's going to be offering netflix uh, but let's look at the outcome are they going to be content in the end no nine of swords this is going to lead to a tremendous amount of worry and stress anxiety what are we going to do it's an inconclusive energy the nine of swords um you haven't got to the ten of swords yet which is the card of ruin but you're well on your way with the nine of swords because you're you're absolutely stressed out about something that's not going well we know it doesn't go well because of the four of cups um but ultimately it's going to be anxiety high anxiety what's going to happen what should we do i think there's going to be worry on both sides worry on netflix's side this isn't good enough and worry on harry's side this isn't good enough and i want out i want to be done with this and um so yeah it doesn't bode well it does look like he got his marching orders from women you have to go you have to do this thing he doesn't want to be there he doesn't want to see it successful um well supported at the spectacular event he doesn't want it to succeed but he's got to show up because i think there are threats there is pressure and he is very afraid of failing and it looks like ultimately he is going to fail and then there is going to be a lot of debate and anxiety and stress on all sides about what to do but in particular his side because we are reading from his point of view and in my opinion and this of course is all just my opinion serve him right that's the reading thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow